A TV reporter suffering a sudden medical condition during a live on air appearance and becomes completely incomprehensible at one point. Listen as this reporter loses control of speech while trying to give an update on the events in Libya. Now, uh, Defense Minister uh, McCain uh, McLeod did uh, confirm today that more than 54 18 fighter jets are spending about as much as 20 and ready to as assist the 600 uh, 100 deployed over the announced needed. He goes on to, you know, it kind of falls apart even a little bit more than that. It's a troubling situation. Yeah. It reminds us of what we saw with Serena Branson. Uh, Trace joins me now from the West Coast Newsroom. Trace, what do we know about this situation? We know this reporter's name, Martha, is Mark McAllister. He works for Global Toronto, which is a very big broadcaster in Canada. He's been in television now for 15 years, and I went back and I looked at some of his previous reports. He's a pro. He's very good, which is why this whole thing is so startling. As you said, he was talking about Libya coming out of a taped piece doing a tag. And I'm going to play you the whole thing now, start to finish. Listen to this. Now, uh, Defense Minister uh, McCain uh, McLeod did uh, confirm today that more than 54 18 fighter jets are spending about as much as 20 and ready to as assist the 600 uh, 100 deployed over the amount needed. Now, it did depend that how the NOLAN emerges RN while the university or the UN mi mission. Has whole received support from all patteries in the hues of the, the garbins uh, of today. Excuse me. Uh, I'll hand it back to you. Yeah, you, you can see that he handed it back to the anchor there. The anchor was shocked. Um, really, nobody knew what to say. They immediately brought in the paramedics, Martha, who said, and I'm quoting here, that he had some type of medical issue. And then they sent him home, but today he is now getting a full battery of tests at his doctor, so we should have an idea of exactly what happened on the air last night. It kind of reminds you of Serena Branson right. in Los Angeles. Remember this? Play it. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Terrace and let's go to the, bit, the head of the pit. She, by the way, was diagnosed with a migraine that mirrors the symptoms of a stroke. By the way, she's back on the air speaking quite clearly, yeah. and they also expect Mark McAllister to be back on the air yeah. 